going to walk you through how to use the beta test quizzes uh, feature to build a word sort. Um, normally, we'd go into modules, which is what you see here, and you would um, go up to one of the plus signs and hit add assignments or add quiz. Um, we're not going to be able to do it that way with this beta. We're going to have to do something a little bit different. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to navigate into assignments. Even though this is a quiz, we're going to navigate as an assignment. We're going to go up here to where it says quiz slash test beta and click on that. And that's going to redirect us to a new site. Um, so we're going to name this after um, one of our sorts. So I'm going to do uh, sort 26. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yep, sort tw number 26. And I'm going to name this um, sort 26. And then I'm going to put a dash. And um, this is the mixed vowel families. And then we want to say which ones it is. It's A N, I N, E N, and U N. So that's going to be our naming convention the sort, the name, and then the specifics. And then from here, um, we're going to leave the rest of this blank. We're going to go save and publish. And it's going to redirect us out at this point. Um, into the beta work area, which is a little different than the rest of Canvas. So from here, we're going to say um, complete the words or sort, sort sort the words into the appropriate categories, something to that effect. And then I like to add a table. This one has four categories. So just from a convention standpoint, centered, bold, size 36, all lowercase. And that is an AN. Sorry, I'm just going to work on my conventions here. So that's that. And then the next one is him. Okay. Again, we need to adjust these. This is a little bit tedious, but uh, again, we only need to do this one time and then it's finished. From here, we're going to go into this plus sign and we're going to do a categorization. And the title, again, I would say um, mixed vowel families. And then name them. And then question stem, um, I just say sort the words, complete the word sort. And then we're going to name our categories. So this first one is going to be can. Category two is can. We're going to add a category. This is going to be 10. Add fourth category. And this is going to be our UN category. Now we'll put in our answers here. Um, you're going to need to look at the word sorts. You have to do your sorting yourself. Um, I'm just looking at the page right now and adding these.
these are, the categories are not even, and that's okay. Um, this is the words that we have. You could add additional categories. You can add distractors. We're not going to do any of those things because they don't exist in this. Um, but that would be something that's possible. Um, we don't have any items banks built, but eventually we'd be able to add these to an item bank. And from here, um, we can say out of how many points, um, there are 20 words. So I'm going to make this out of 20 points. Click done. This is more or less what this will end up looking like. From here, it's saved. So I'm going to go back to return. And then it'll show up here. You can um, see what this looks like from the student view. We can go through assignments or through modules. Either one will work. So, so this is what it looks like for a student. No time limit, no due date. We begin. Um, this is what it looks like. So we're going to sort these into the appropriate place by dragging them. You can drop them anywhere in that box. Uh, I'm going to get a couple of wrong here just on purpose. Um, just so you can see what it looks like scored. And they could pull them from any spot. They don't have to be the next available or anything like that. And we'll throw in, we submit, and then it auto grades. And this is that instant feedback that you're looking at. Um, I haven't really figured out the point piece of this yet, but we'll get that figured out later. What you can see here, though, really easily is what they got wrong, um, where these should be, and so they'd be able to work from there. So that is how this works, and that's how we're going to go about creating these. If you do uh, student um, practice as a student, make sure you hit reset student so that it clears everything <clears throat> for the next person. <clears throat>